So today we're going to create a public web gallery using Lightroom Cloud. And you might be surprised just how easy it is. So stick around. Well, hello friends, my name is Roger, and today we're going to work with a web gallery. So with the cloud version of Lightroom, you can create a public web gallery of your favorite albums and images that you can share with others. It's easiest to first create one or more albums in Lightroom that contains the images that you want to use for your gallery. So you can have a gallery of more than one album of images. So galleries are a great way to share photos from a specific family of event for instance or images from a vacation. So I have several albums of images here. So once we've added the images that we want to use in the appropriate albums, we then need to navigate to lightroom.adobe.com. So let me switch to Safari and I will navigate to that website. So that was lightroom.adobe.com. Then we want to click the shared icon and that's over here in the left panel bar and then we want to click a gallery. So here you can modify your gallery settings by adding your name, a description of your gallery, choosing whether to allow downloads, comments and likes as well as choosing which metadata to display. So right now we see that I have two albums out of the summer vacation album and an album named animals. And to remove an album from your gallery just click the little minus icon and that removes that album from this particular gallery. So now our gallery is empty, so let's add a folder of images. So to add an album to our gallery, we click the Add Albums button, and here's a list of all the albums that we have in Lightroom, and I want to add the Animals album, so we'll select Animals, and then click Add Album. And we can see that that album has now been added to our Lightroom gallery. Let's add another one, so we'll click Add Albums again. And this time I think I'm going to click that for Instagram album. So now that one is selected in addition to the Animals album. Then we'll click Add Album. So now both of those have been added to our gallery. Now you can also choose a custom cover image for your gallery. Right now I have an image of a little dog here. So to choose a different image we click the Browse button. Then we navigate to the location where the image is located. And I have an image on my desktop here named Duck. So I'm going to select that and then click Choose. It takes a moment for it to update. And now the cover image for our album has now been updated. So once you've added your albums to your gallery and uh, updated any information, you're ready to preview your gallery. And to do so, we click the little link on the upper right corner of the window. And this is the link that you'll share with others. And the easiest way to do that is to click the little clipboard icon and that copies the link to the clipboard and then you can paste it in an email or a text message or even on a website. So let's click our link to have a little look-see at our gallery. So on the left pane here we have all of the albums that make up this gallery. So if I only wanted to see image, let's say in the Animals album, I would click Animals. Now we're only viewing images from that album. I could also click the For Instagram album. And again, now I'm viewing images from that particular album. To view a specific image, I could click directly on the image and we get a bigger version of it. It fills up our screen. And here we have a couple of options. We can click the little three dot menu in the upper right corner of our screen. And that allows us to download the image to our computer. And that will only be allowable if downloads are enabled for this gallery, which I do believe we did enable them. You can also view information about an image. It tells us what camera this was taken, and that's because we had the metadata option displayed. So we see some various metadata about this image, such as the camera, our camera settings, etc. And this icon underneath the info icon displays all our comments that were left about this image. And right now we don't have any comments. And we could actually leave one. Great cats. And now we have a comment added to the activity area of this image. So let's close this. You can also display the images in an album in a slideshow by clicking the little slideshow button. And notice that after so many seconds, it switches from one image to the next. And we can just tap escape to exit the slideshow. 
And again, you can click show all here to display all of the albums that make up your gallery. And I think I'm finished with this gallery, so I'm going to click the little X in the tab here to close the tab. That brings us back to our main Lightroom window. And again, you can show this gallery by just copying this link to the clipboard and then sharing it any way you like. So did you like this video? If so, please click the like button below as that really helps our channel out. And that about does it for this video. I thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all of your support and I'll talk to you all in the next video. Roger it out.